Your kids are being brainwashed by liberal TV producers and Hollywood's lefty mafia doesn't even try to hide it. Now they've been caught on tape admitting it. After 9-11, Big Bird apparently had an agenda. Sesame Street was teaching anti-war themes to our unsuspecting kids and in prime time. For the infamous lesbian wedding scene on Friends, producers booked Newt Gingrich's gay sister as a preacher just to mess with conservatives. The, uh, the lesbian wedding. Mm -hmm. We knew, I, I can't say we weren't aware, we knew that there was going to be some flack from that. Mm -hmm. Although I have to say, when we cast Candace Gingrich as the, um, as the, the minister mm -hmm. of that wedding, there was a bit of <laughs> with it, um, <laughs> to the right wing director. Joining me now is Ben Shapiro, author of the new book, Primetime Propaganda, the true Hollywood story of how the left took over your TV. Ben, how did you get these people to open up to you? What was, what was the premise that you set? I mean, what I actually did is I introduced myself, and then I said, I'm interviewing the biggest names in Hollywood, want to be a part of it. The ego is a really kind of nasty beast in Hollywood. And I think what they really assumed is, my name is Shapiro, I went to Harvard Law School, I was wearing a Harvard Law baseball cap, and so the nice thing is that the left is really stereotypical. So they assume, okay, he's, he's got to be a leftist, right? Jew, Harvard Law, in Hollywood, 97.6% shot this dude's a leftist. Not so much. Then the two, the three and a half percent they miss yeah. because you're a conservative. But uh, t tell us, it, it, was, it was not just big screen. It was TV as well, entertainment. Um, it spread across all, all different uh, genres? Yeah, I mean, it was really focused, this book, on, on primetime entertainment, network and cable, primetime scripted entertainment, which is massively liberal, overwhelmingly liberal. And I have people on tape, you know, talking about how liberal Actors, it is. too? Oh, actors, the producers, writers, executives. I mean, the executives were the ones that really freaked me out, right? You would figure the executives, they're the ones charged with making sure that the stockholders get their value. But... Even the executives want to do something good for the world. They want, to, they want to do something for social justice and tolerance and diversity. And they admitted to me that, yeah, we have an agenda, and we'll program to the left to reach that agenda. Because they're liberals and they're limousine liberals. Right. Uh, ben, I, I read through some of your uh, excerpts. I read through parts of the book as well. Um, what, what's this issue with, with Ann Coulter? I mean, it's who... Uh, Pretty harsh names being oh, called, Oh, yeah, right? yeah. I mean, there, there was uh, George Schlatter, who was the producer of Laughing, the creator of Laughing, one of the biggest shows in the 1960s. He said that uh, you wouldn't need the C word if there were no Ann Coulter. I mean, and, and, except he said the actual C word. Uh, this is the kind of stuff and that they say. you have this on tape. Absolutely. And this is the, we'll release that next week. This is the kind of stuff that they say on a regular basis in the privacy of, of their own liberal enclaves. The difference is they said it to me because, in all likelihood, they thought I was and a liberal. And Bill O'Reilly, Sean Hannity. They go after uh, all these Rush people. Rush Limbaugh. Personally. Yep, absolutely. They went after Bill personally. They went after Sean personally. Um, and and, they, and they're, they're personal attacks, are they not? Yep, yeah, absolutely personal attacks. I mean, Schlatter, the same guy. It was it was kind of a dream for me as in, as the interviewer because it's like he went off on every major figure you know that I could possibly want him to go off on and justify my belief that he's a liberal, which he is. So um, you know, he, he went. He said that you know making fun of Sean Hannity is quote like making fun of a cripple in a crosswalk. I mean, they, he was making fun of, of Rush Limbaugh saying that he, uh, he should have a balloon cable stuffed up his butt. I mean, he's, he's just absurd stuff. But this is the kind of stuff that they say and think goes as legitimate as legitimate criticism in Hollywood because it does. This is their town. They own it. They believe in it. And so they, they don't really see the problem with saying any of this stuff. In fact, I had someone today come out That's and actually... That's what I want to get to. Go yeah. ahead. I'm, I'm watching your book tour and I'm seeing you pop up on different media outlets. <laughs> I saw you on MSNBC. The treatment there, um, you describe it. Well, I mean, what, what, what the liberal media and MSNBC have been trying to do is they, they, they basically say that I want to kill Big Bird. I mean, that's, that's their big thing. Yeah, I want to kill Big Bird. I hate Sesame Street. And then they always say, well, doesn't Fox News balance out the liberal media? Well, no. I mean, you have one fair and balanced news network, and that's supposed to balance out the entire rest of the entertainment panoply. I mean, are you kidding me? Right? NBC, ABC, CBS, all of the cable networks, with the exception of Fox News, swing vastly to the left. And I wasn't, the book isn't even, even about news, right? The book is about scripted entertainment. But this is what the leftist media does, is they, they, they try and just manipulate and manipulate and manipulate. So it must be that Fox News, which is not even scripted, it's a news channel, is supposed to balance out things like Friends. It's two separate audiences. Now, right. not even, uh, entertainment is the damaging stuff. Just weigh in. Does it surprise you the treatment that Anthony Weiner is getting in New York and getting in, uh, getting the treatment he's getting by the media? Uh, you know, it, oh, it, it makes way, a lot of sense. If Anthony Weiner was a conservative uh, with an oh, artist... He'd, be, he'd name, be gone. He would have been gone, you know, a week ago. As soon as this broke, he would have been gone. But because he's a Democrat, he does it. John Stewart, right, is a close friend of Anthony Weiner's. And he decides he's going to go out of his way to... He'll, he'll, he'll kind of knock him a little bit, but he's really not going to... He spends three quarters of last night's show making fun of Sarah Palin eating pizza. 
You have a congressman who takes a shot of his crotch and sends it off on Twitter, and we're making fun of Sarah Palin eating pizza? That's because Jon Stewart is a motivated liberal, and by the way, next week I'll be releasing tape of Doug Herzog, the head of MTV Networks, saying that Jon Stewart is a motivated liberal, which gives the lie That's to the amazing. whole Jon Stewart. The, you know. the, be the best part of this is you have it on tape. You're going to release <laughs> these over the next three weeks. Sequentially, yeah, and we'll, we'll have fun watching try to respond. We're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much, Ben Shapiro.